we are going to create this text effect in DaVinci Resolve 18. All right, let's open up Resolve and go into the Fusion page. And the tool which we need for creating this effect is called Contour. Now Contour is part of the Crocodile tools and can be installed via the Reactor. And if you do not know what co uh, Crocodile tools or Reactor means, you can check out my earlier video. Now we need a text plus node. And let's type something. Let's make it slightly bigger. And for this contour effect to work, we need to change the bit depth to int 8. Resolve by default works in float 32. So you can change it in this uh, text node by going to the image tab and in the depth set it to int 8. And you can see here it's set to int 8. And let's set the font to something else like a nice and bold font and let's add a blur effect and set it to Gaussian with a blur size of say around 12 and let's connect it to the contour node now select the contour node and let's change the width to 0 0.001 and levels to something around 14 and we can reduce the threshold to something like this okay and when you look closer you can see the jagged edges that's because of the anti-aliasing and Let's do a super sampling and change this super sampling to 4x4 and now it should smoothen out. And let's add a blur node after the contour and set it to about 0 0.5 and set it to Gaussian. You get something like this. Now let's add some color to it using the color node, which again is part of the Crocodile toolset. Let's set it to a nice and bold color like so and set it to multiply. Let's add a mask. Soften it a bit and invert it. Let's maybe expand it like so. And let's add a glow. I prefer exponential glow, which is available on Reactor. Now, for the glow tools to work properly, you need to be in 32 bit working space and you can change the bit depth by adding a change depth node and change it to float 32 and these glow tools would work better in the float space float 32 bit space and can do something like this like so and Let's remove the checker underlay, okay. options, checker underlay. You can also fine tune other options like blur to change the effects and also can animate. Like say, this looks like the blob effect. You can animate it. And create interesting shapes. And also you can change the text to anything you like.
So that's the contour text effect. If you like the video, please do subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.